Hi, I'm Andy Matthews. I'm a lawyer at Stoll Reeves in Seattle, which is SEBA's outside legal counsel. I'm coming to you today with an important update regarding an upcoming change in the agency law in Washington, which you are probably familiar with or, or at least have heard about. On January 1st, a new, brand new agency law will go into effect, and this has significant impact and ramifications for your real estate practice, which you are going to want to pay careful attention to. To give a quick overview of the new law and the changes that are being implemented, there are basically four main categories of things. One is that there is now going to be a requirement for all, uh, all principals in an uh, agency relationship to have a written services agreement. Whereas historically, real estate firms and brokers were required to enter into written services agreements only with sellers, the new law requires written services agreements with both sellers and buyers. Notably, there is an exception that exists under the law with respect to uh, buyers of commercial real estate, so you're going to want to pay careful attention to that. Secondly, the law significantly revised and updated the pamphlet that is used by brokers to provide information to their customers about the services that they provide and the way that the law of agency works in Washington. Third, the law makes some significant changes to the, the concept that we have historically referred to as dual agency. And in fact, it's no longer called dual agency anymore. The name is now limited dual agency, which is a reflection of the fact that a broker who represents both sides of a transaction is limited in their ability to serve as an agent to either one of them. Finally, the law makes some clarifications with respect to the general duties owed by real estate brokers pursuant to 1886-030 and makes clear that the, the duties listed in that part of the statute are owed to all parties that the broker interacts with in a real estate transaction and not simply the party that the broker represents. As you can tell, these are significant changes and they are going to entail significant changes among many other things to the legal forms that SEBA provides to all of you in order to prepare transactions. Those new forms are going to be made available in November of 2023 and will go into use in, on January 1st, 2024 when the new law goes into effect. We will be putting on significant trainings via webinars, so please watch SEBA's website and other communications for information on those offerings. Thank you for your attention to this, and I want to reiterate that this is a significant change in the law. You're going to want to be prepared on January 1st when the law goes into effect, so I will look forward to seeing you at upcoming trainings. Thanks.